Hi guys, this is Garrett from Major Hi-Fi, and today I'll be examining the GSP500 gaming headset from Sennheiser. The GSP500 is the open back model of Sennheiser's GSP gaming headset series. Um, they are very adjustable. Not only can you extend uh, the sides down in like a classic headphone fashion, uh, but you could also change the stiffness of the headband um, with two little sliding parts they have on top. Once you find your customized fit, they're actually pretty comfortable. They're a little clampy, but uh, I wore them for a while and that pressure seemed to go away after a bit. The, uh, the cups do nicely situate themselves on your ears because of uh, their double hinge uh, design. There's a volume knob on the uh, right side and it's very satisfying to use. Uh, I love this feature uh, with my DualShock 4 controller, my PS4, because I could change uh, the volume on the fly instead of uh, having to hold down the PS button and go to the menu and, and change it from there. Um, I'm all around very okay with the volume knob. Sennheiser is a superpower in the realm of headphones, uh, but it helps to remember that they are actually a respected manufacturer of microphones as well. Um, and so the GSP500 headset mic is unsurprisingly impressive, and much more clear than those of its competitors. Sennheiser claims that it's noise cancelling. I don't see how that could work since there is no battery or power being fed to the headset. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's not noise cancelling, it's just a specialized pickup pattern that emphasizes speech and blocks outside sound. The signal sounds great to me, and so I have no complaints either way. Um, another cool thing about the GSP500 headset mic uh, is that if you lift the boom arm to a vertical position, it mutes all sound coming in. If you're playing on a PC, uh, there is a cable uh, that you can connect uh, to the headset because uh, the GSP500 offers a removable cable, um, but the optional cable will allow you to connect to your uh, headphone and microphone jack separately. It kind of splits into a Y at the end. With the GSP500, you will be the best sounding person in your Discord, and everyone will be very impressed by your crystal clear sound. In all honesty though, I think these would uh, be a great fit for anyone who streams or records themselves playing. Um, definitely one of the best uh, mics a gaming headset could offer. Uh, gaming headphones uh, don't typically sound this good. They are detailed, they have a nice extended low range, which is just as present as it needs to be. Um, the soundstage is also pretty expansive thanks to the open back design, um, which provides an articulated sense of space, and that's never a bad thing in, say, a shooter where hearing your opponent first and being able to figure out where they are is going to give you an advantage. Um, you aren't going to throw these on and be OP out of nowhere, but you will certainly be more aware of your surroundings than somebody with a $20 pair of earbuds that they got from the corner store. Um, playing advantage wouldn't be the only reason a gamer might seek open back cans. Uh, it could just be listening preference. Um, when I was using them to play uh, Bloodborne PvE, uh, uh, the spacious soundstage granted a greater sense of immersion than I was prepared for. Uh, it was the first time I actually recognized the horror aspect to that game. Uh, which inspired me to try them out with something scarier. I ended up playing PT, the Silent Hills demo, and it was sufficiently horrific. If you're into being scared, the imaging on the GSP500 is going to give you the pain you want. The only people that uh, the GSP500 might not be for are those who will be gaming in very close quarters with someone else. Um, maybe you have a roommate in a cramped dorm room, um, or you're in a cubicle next to somebody else and you don't want them to know you're playing Overwatch instead of responding to mundane emails. Or you could uh, be using Starbucks free Wi-Fi because you haven't paid your internet bill and you don't want to bother the people next to you. In that scenario, I just suggest you get your life together. For those of you who are actually considering the GSP500 but will have problems with sound bleeding out of them, uh, Sennheiser also sells the GSP600, which is virtually the same thing, but with a closed back. Uh, the 500 sells for $229.95, which is more than reasonable for a headset of its caliber. Uh, they're perfect for any PC or PS4 gamer. Um, if you have an Xbox One, you could also pick up the headset adapters sold by Microsoft and use them as well. Um, they are currently in stores and would make a great gift for any gamer with ears. Hey guys, uh, press the like and subscribe buttons if it agrees with you, uh, leave comments and ask any questions, let me know if I missed anything. Uh, you could always look for more reviews at MajorHiFi.com, and yes, thanks again for listening.